today I want to share a few things with you. The side that you don't see. You see, most of the times when I talk about things like this, it's not as viewed, but it's important to be as transparent and honest with you as possible about what actually goes on behind the scenes with this YouTube channel. And putting this out there adds a little bit of context to times when I don't upload and, and such. So 138 to five. That was the ratio of positive and constructive statements to just downright bullying, negative and aversive controlling statements that were made as a result of the video that I uploaded Monday on this channel. Uh, it's linked up here if you want to go check it out. Citing your references. If I were to do a talk on relational frame theory, so it's 138 messages or statements, etc., made about the praise of the video of trying to highlight the dangers of dogma, thinking for yourself, and just being careful of how to look through the marketing into the real science that's out there, because there's so much thrown at us. However, there were two of those five that I want to share with you specifically. The first one, this is an absolute disgrace to the field. Please stop what you're doing. The second one, you're a shit BCBA. Now there's no names here, there's no point really. It causes a lot more problems and I don't want to shine a negative light on any particular person per se. They could be having a bad day. I don't really know. And putting things on the internet, it's not easy. Exposing yourself to a thousand plus people per day will lead to things like this. And I get that it's an opt-in uh, part of what I'm doing on this channel. As much good does come from an upload, there's also this negative. And these ones I gave you are a little bit easier to see through, um, you know, than the true constructive feedback that's a lot harder to swallow. And those of those five that were negative in some sort of way, they were also partially constructive, those other three. So didn't include them. That's between me and whoever sent it, you know? And I have so many ideas for content, like so many ideas far more than I can execute. And I've been asked a lot about what is the plans for 2019? Because I said that this was a year long experimental project. I'd see where it go. I'll share more of what that is tomorrow. The point was today to really just talk a little bit about this culture that somehow was allowed to shape up in behavior analysis that really is so far disconnected from the science. It's unbelievable. I get that contingencies operate on everybody in different ways and we could look at those. Um, but this is just sometimes disgusting. So know that I'm figuring out how to leverage this, how to move forward with this constructive negative feedback. Like I'm okay, I'm in a great mental health state. Things are fine, it's okay. There is no way that something like this is going to stop me. If I could, I'd be uploading two, three, five, ten 10 videos a day, just like I did on Monday, just to just keep pushing the content. I would just flood it as much as I possibly could. That's how much I believe in this community and you, the viewer. Now I'm curious what you think as to why people believe they're so entitled that they can try to control, and punish, and suppress behavior of folks like ourselves that are just looking to do our own thing with the science. Believe me, if I could, I would take these folks and I would just do specific blasts and videos about them, but it's not worth the feeding into that negativity or the cease and desist letters or worse, it'll come from that. But this side of behavior analysis isn't talked about publicly and that's a big problem. This, these emails are a part of it, but it comes in many different forms. This negativity, but negativity doesn't win in the long run. I full faith believe that. And these people are pro problematic for the field moving forward. And I think we've seen this in the past with how not treating others with respect and listening and really trying to be constructive and moving forward, uh, just pigeonholed our science. You can go back into the cognitive revolution. You can look at the people that have tried to differentiate themselves in our current community over the last 30 years to try to rebuild some of this 
damage that was done that are actually having quite phenomenal success. And it was through those sort of strategies of positivity first shaping and trying to move forward rather than just being downright negative. And we need to get back to a time where a single statement isn't looked at as defining a person. Folks like myself, you could exercise whatever it is you want. For me, maybe that's free speech and trying to put out videos and content like this. For you, it could be whatever it is that you're into and what you wanna do with the field. And we could do this in a way where we didn't have to worry about the bullying and the potential just being ostracized from the community. So today, if you have the courage, I'm asking you to share your story in details that allow for us to all understand and resonate, not in details that are calling out a particular person but share your story and share ways that maybe you've successfully figured out how to move beyond those sorts of bullying behaviors and culture that we find in this field. I know our situations are different, but sometimes I can learn how to bring in what others have figured out and learned themselves and bring it into this channel and, and just make it a little bit stronger. So feel free to also send those back channel as well if, if you'd like to. So I'm kind of bummed um, the last few days. I have been. I was told that this field is an uphill battle by my first mentor when I got into the field. And never did I think that it was gonna be an uphill battle because of our own internal culture and not to mention these like two-faced leaders that are publicly in one light totally revered, but then the other just totally nasty. But to those out there, I'm not stopping. This isn't going to end because I'm sort of bullying or attempted aversive control. You can't suppress behavior without an alternative. This channel is my voice. It's going to continue and we're going to continue seeing just how strong it is based on the backing of this channel and the supporters like those that are patrons that help fuel this and make this channel because all of us share a similar vision. That's your daily BA. In no way do I think that this channel should be replacing anything else that is out there. If you're interested, down here is my most recent upload. You can subscribe over here. Or this is where YouTube says that there's something that uh, has to do with the tags and what we named and such, and it's probably the most relevant for you. So you might want to check that out. Um, and we've got a shop too, just to kind of spread the good word of behavior analysis. So I'll see y'all later. Peace.